Hi winners and welcome to another Winning Wednesday. Now there are a few things that I am going to talk about when it comes to the channel and updates and all of that, but the first thing I want to say is a shout out to my lovely sister. I love you. And just so she knows, we are thinking about her. I just wanted to let her know because I know she watches them and I really, I really do love you. I do. And I want you to know that. So now that the ominousness is done, I just want to say updates and then I'm going to talk about my very eventful day today. <laughs> so for updates with streaming, pretty much I have planned only one this week because I'm going to be gone this weekend. Um, but this last week was on Friday only since the last Winning Wednesday and it was going to be an art stream, then it turned into a game stream. And then I ended up not having a stream Saturday because it went so long. So I did a Little Nightmares DLC and that was quite the adventure when Tali decided to destroy my router, but apparently it all recorded. So I'll take that. So at least for YouTube, you guys get to see the little bit that Twitch cut out because I lost internet connection. Um, so Little Nightmares DLC is all done. I really enjoyed it. It, of course, gives the feel of the original game, so I'll take it. On top of that, I like that it linked to the original game. If you guys haven't seen it, I'm not going to say anything, but it's really good at connecting certain portions of the original game to the DLC. Or, like, why things were the way they were in the original game is parts because of the DLC. Um, the other thing that I did was Sally Face Episode 2. Also, River's cooking in the background, so if you hear things happening, <laughs> that's why. Um, but I did Sally Face Episode 2, but I also did Episode 1 for anyone that missed it, and apparently that made it take three hours. So it was like, I think, 40 minutes max to do Episode 1, and then Episode 2 was like forever until I was able to finish it. Um, it was really good. I got a little lost in some areas. Uh, some things kind of went either over my head or I just wasn't paying attention close enough. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's all done and over with. Uh, it seems like not many of you are as excited about it as I thought you might be, but it's good. So I'm gonna play it anyway, cause I really liked it. And also the Twitch stream did really well. So I like that all of you guys were able to hang out that did, especially since it was so late at night. I totally understand why a lot of you couldn't make it, but it was really cool to still see a decent amount of you that were there, especially at like freaking god awful hours. So that was the only stream I had. And the only one that I have planned for this next week is tomorrow, Thursday. Um, and I might have one when I come back, but we'll see on what's going on or when I come back and all of that jazz. So as of right now, the only one that I have planned is tomorrow. I'm thinking about 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, so that way I can get done kind of early and that way I can edit and upload it for the weekend. So that way I have videos. Um, but yeah, it's going to be Dream Daddy. If you guys haven't heard anything from it. Um, I know that the Game Grumps have a hand in it, but it is uh, someone specifically, I can't remember the person's name. I'll put a link in the description to the Steam page if you guys wanna check it out. It is a dating sim for dating dads, and I'm so excited. <laughs> like you're a guy, you're, I don't know if you're a dad, but you're a guy wanting to date uh, all these options of dads. Uh, I already have some in mind that I really like, uh, two of them specifically, but I don't know if I'm gonna like them as much once I'm in game. So we'll see, cause one of them kinda seems like a dick, I just, he hot. And then the other one, I just, I love him. So we'll see, if you guys can guess, if you guys wanna try and guess, put in the comments and the two that I'm talking about, but, or the two I would date. But yeah, I'm really excited for it, mostly because it looks like they put so much work into it. Like the art is amazing and I really love the concept of it because there aren't many dating games, at least that are getting as much popularity as this one, that are LGBT in any way. And so the fact that this is like, you know, clearly male and male love. I'm saying that because I don't know if our character's gay or if they're bi or whatever. I don't know the backstory. I don't know if we choose it. I know we kind of get to decide what we look like, which also excites me. So, um, but I'm not going to assume anything. I just know that it's got LGBT themes and that makes me really happy because usually those aren't getting as popular as this one's blowing up, at least that I've noticed. And probably because the Game Grumps have a hand in it. But yes, I'm going to be live streaming it tomorrow. If you guys do not know, and I forgot to kind of say it, but 
apparently, and I, I, can't, I knew this before and I forgot about it, so I'm remembering again, that if I live stream something, it needs to be uploaded 20, it, later than 24 hours after I streamed it. So if I streamed it and ended the stream at 10, at like, like say 9 p.m., then the next day it can't be uploaded till after 9 p.m. You know what I mean? Apparently that's my deal as an affiliate that the archive cannot be put anywhere else until 24 hours later. So that's why I haven't been uploading stuff right after I do it. Um, but Valley has been being uploaded. Oh, I'll talk about uploads in a second. But basically that's why uh, Dream Daddy won't be up till Saturday or Sunday because I'm live streaming it on Thursday. But that's also why I'm live streaming earlier in the day. Again, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time because I want enough time to edit and upload it for the weekend since I will be gone Friday morning. Um, so that, that's that's the plan and that's the only stream I'm able to do because I'm gone from Friday to Monday. Uh, the As for uploads, I've been uploading the Valley Archive um, from live streaming. I know it's not getting as much love, but it got a lot of love during stream, so I'll still take it. Uh, and it seems like the ones that are watching it are watching it all the way through. So I'll take the devotion. I'll totally take it over the quantity of just like people clicking on it and realizing they don't like it, you know? So I'm really glad that you guys like the thumbnail though. It took so long. That's my longest to make thumbnail yet. But I personally really liked the game. I actually saw some reviews online that were ripping it apart. I'm like, what the hell? But it seems like these people are just not into walking sims and they're if something's a shooter, they expect it to be a challenge and stuff. And like, that's just not how I view games. As you guys know, I like the story. I'm totally just more invested in the story or if it's a horror game, I'm invested in being scared, not in difficulty level. If it's a difficulty level, it's usually after I've played it once, then I'm like, sure, let's increase it. Let's do Mirror's Edge on hard. Let's do whatever on like a more difficult level because now I know I can do it. Or, or let's do the harder levels or whatever the game's kind of like. Um, but that's just more if it's, you know, cause it's started to get boring. But usually first time playthrough for me, I'm just experiencing the game. So my opinion, I thought Valley was fantastic. I thought story-wise it was really good. In the way that it told it, it was unique. It wasn't just cutscenes interrupting everything. There, It was very, it was giving off the feeling of Sol solitude, <laughs> basically being alone um, and having no one around you or anything to interact with. And I like that they played off that. <laughs> Sorry, I had to turn off the air conditioning because I forgot and it was really loud. So basically I really like that they used past information to tell the story. And I personally felt really connected to the story. I know it's not for everyone to get it out of notes or whatnot, but I, I personally get really involved as long as the story's good. So I, I loved it. It was beautifully done. The graphics are amazing. I loved the gameplay. I don't know what this criticism is just because I actually had fun, but maybe it's because I had fun. I didn't feel challenged. I didn't want to feel challenged. And the game, I don't think, calls for feeling challenged. That's just me. Let me know what you guys thought about Valley in the comments below because I don't know if everyone feels the same way I do. Um, I know the people during stream really liked it, but I don't know if YouTube is as in much of agreement with everyone else that I know. So just let me know how you feel about it. Uh, otherwise, I've been uploading. I uploaded the ending of Outlast. It's done. I don't have to look at it anymore. Outlast 2 is completely done. I finished it. That ending, what the fuck? But I'm not gonna talk about it because I don't wanna spoiler, but finally, Outlast 2 is done. So I hate having a playthrough unfinished if it's like something I intended to finish. That's only happened twice now. And the first one was because of a game breaking glitch and I feel like replaying the game. I might do that on stream, maybe replay it to see if I can get past that glitch. Um, but as of right now, I don't have plans to. And then um, the other one was just, <laughs> I was clearly halfway through the game and already sick and tired of it. Um, I think it's just because I wasn't interested and wasn't my thing. Uh, which, so the first one was Scratches, which I really, again, I enjoyed it, I just broke it. <laughs> I think that was the start of my game breaking glitches, <laughs> actually. And then um, the other one was Syndrome. And it's, I liked it at first, it just, I hate backtracking and I'll, that entire game is basically backtracking at some point and I was just like, I can't, I just can't. So the fact that Outlast 2 was unfinished was just driving me insane. So it is done for you guys, finally. So it's not on that list of unfinished games. 
luckily. Uh, the other thing I've been uploading was Little Nightmares, the DLC, which I did, like I said, on stream, and same with Sally Face Episode 2, which the ending was just uploaded now as well. So that's all done. Valley's all done as of yesterday. So now, right now, I'm just trying to find some short games and then Dream Daddy to kind of hold you guys off for the next few days. Um, because like I said, and now I can talk about it a bit more since I'm done talking about uploads, um, I am going to be gone from Friday to Monday because on Saturday is my mom's graduation, a PhD graduation. So that's super important and exciting. Also, it's her 51st birthday, so that's also really exciting. So she gets to graduate on her birthday. And I'm going with my grandma, uh, so we're gonna be there in Baltimore to watch her, so I'll be in that area. If you guys happen to see me, if any of you are Baltimore area, um, we'll be around. And Sunday, I know we're sightseeing. I don't know what. I know my mom had mentioned something about Ren Fair, but I'm not bringing my outfit, so I don't know if that's the plan. Um, and then Monday, I'm coming back home in the evening, so I have no time to be able to record or live stream. And because I've had such difficulty catching up, because I've also had to do some art that I was planning on finishing before leaving for this trip, I only can do literally one video a day, and I really hope that I'll have enough for when I come back. Um, and I'll be able to hopefully catch up Tuesday afternoon. I might stream just a bunch of random mini games just to kind of catch up and have some parts for you guys for the next few days um, until I can catch back up to two a day. But as of right now, it's gonna start going down to one because I'm rushing and I can't do it in time. I'm trying. But I don't want to stress myself out either, and I want to be able to give that love and attention to commissions as well. So that's why, if you guys notice, in the next few days, it starts dropping down to one, and then it's just going to stay to one. That's why. Um, so Thursday and Friday, I plan on it just being some two indie games. Um, then Saturday and Sunday, I plan on having it be Dream Daddy. If it's more than two parts, then I'll just keep uploading Dream Daddy following that um, but I don't know how the game's broken up if it's anything like hot to boyfriend a romance takes an hour and I could fuck it up so whereas I'm gonna be playing dream daddy blind I didn't do that with hot to boyfriend and that would have been that would have been hard to do blind so I hope dream daddy's not as bad in that case I hope that it's not impossible to romance the person you want to romance and I also have no law I, I have no idea how long it's going to take to romance that person so I don't know if I can upload this romance in this part or if it's gonna be multiple parts of a playthrough I I won't know till I play it and it's not even released until tomorrow so crossing fingers that I'll have at least you know two parts hopefully more I have literally no idea um other than that then Monday I plan on it being a Q&A <laughs> that I owe patrons so bad. And then I'm going to email out the patrons of the $10 tier one more time for this last month because this video will cover uh, the months that I've missed. And then I have one more month to cover. And then I'm changing it so that way the $10 tier is not that anymore because I've had to rely on people and like literally half of them got back to me and the other half didn't. So I don't want it to rely on everyone anymore, um, everyone else. I'd rather it rely on me. So that way I don't feel bad that I can't answer other people's questions in time because I'm waiting on other people to answer the questions. You guys know, like that, that I didn't think that through. And so now I'm gonna change that in July's. So if you are in the $10 tier and all of a sudden it drops you, cause I think it drops you and makes you not a patron anymore if I change the tier. So, or change the rewards in the tier. So if, you guys get dropped, that's why. Relook at it, see if it's what the reward is now going to be, is something you're interested in. I'm thinking about making it more art oriented because that's that makes the most sense to me um, because Patreon seems like it would be best suited for my art and that way people who really support my art but are like, what the fuck is video games? <laughs> um, or like, what the fuck is Let's Play? Can at least support me on this platform of Patreon. Also, it was half already art because of the live stream, or because of the thumbnails earlier. I don't know why I said live streams. Because of the early release of the thumbnails and um, then it was just a Q&A, which I end up doing anyway. And I answer all questions and comments anyway. So I feel like there's something better I can reward people with. So I'm gonna be doing it more art geared 
um, whereas Game Wisp is primarily the live stream and video oriented. Um, so it's got so Game Wisp has the private live streams and the private movie nights, um, and also will have that. Here's a game you can request me to play, which I might gear it now more towards live streaming. I'll do it as a live stream and then it'll be uploaded as a video instead of just video. And then Patreon won't have that reward anymore. I'm gonna just completely change 10. I'll add to five, I think. Um, and then 25 will just be something different because no one's in it anyway, so I'm not, I don't feel bad changing that. Whereas 10, if you guys have some feedback that are in the $10, let me know what you'd like to see. But otherwise, for the $5, I was thinking about adding, um, if I could figure it out, big downloads of the pictures. So that way you guys can use it as like wallpapers for your screens and stuff like that for the thumbnails that are really nice. Um, so like the ones that I art, <laughs> you guys can get a bigger resolution of that. So it's not just the tiny JPEG you see in the post as early. Because you guys don't, you guys may see the games early like indie games early before I post them but you guys don't see the art I do early because people on Twitch have already seen it so it's not early anymore um, so there's the reward I think for that it would work well to have it as a big download if you guys want the high resolution of it and I feel like the five dollar isn't that bad for it especially on top of knowing the other games I'm gonna be playing early and the discord so and also I think Five dollar. I could be wrong. Five dollar might be in the description, but that might be ten dollar. But I think that's five dollar. So you'll also be in the description of videos as well. So next is my eventful day. So like that's that's what's been going on. That's what's gonna change. That's what I'm doing this weekend. Um, today was really eventful because, and I posted it all on Twitter. Was like freaking storms hit here so bad to the point where like I couldn't get to work. Uh, if you guys have been having crazy weather, put it down there. Let me know. And let me make, make sure I'm not the only one. I know in my Discord we've all been talking about like all the crazy things that have been going on, but I want to hear from you guys too. Like, what crazy weather have you been encountering? Because we had such bad storms that flash flooding was happening. And I've had flash fl flooding before, but it's never been like this. I couldn't drive to work. <laughs> like, I eventually found one road that was not closed. Otherwise, everything was either I was... <laughs> There's no fucking way my car's getting through that. I don't have a truck. I don't have like a giant car that can get through it. It was just a normal car. So I couldn't get through the water that was entirely drowning some of the hills and valleys to get to work. And um, then getting in the first 10 minutes of my drive, I couldn't see more than 50 feet in front of me. Like everyone on the expressway was just like, we're gonna go like 30 because this is terrifying and we can't see anything. Like I literally had a semi next to me and he's all I could see. I couldn't see any of the cars in front of me until like all of a sudden some people were throwing up their hazards because we were going down in speed. So they wanted people like, see me, don't hit me, here's hazards. <laughs> like, and like a bunch of people started doing that for one section where we all slowed down. So it was like, I've never been that terrified driving just cause of weather in a long time. Um, it's happened before, but mostly cause of snow, like whiteout I've had, but I've never had it for rain. Like not this bad. So, and like, I was, I was legit like, I'm not driving through that road. I've never made that decision before. I've been like, oh, well that was a giant puddle. No, this is like literally a river is crossing this road. I cannot cross it without my car, risking my car stopping, like risking not being able to get out of my car. So, yeah. So that was my morning and then my boss's basement flooded. So I was the only one at work cause she had to go and take care of that. And then like a half, my computer at work takes like a half hour or more to boot up. It's really, really sad, I know. Um, they haven't updated their systems in a long time, so it takes like over a half hour to boot up. And so a half hour before I was supposed to leave, the power goes out for like two seconds, so my computer turned off. <laughs> so I'm like, do you want me to stay? Cause I can't do anything without the computer and it's gonna take a half hour to boot up. And she's like, nah, just <laughs> close up, go home, what the hell? So going home wasn't as nearly as eventful as going to work. Uh, which thank God because I was totally afraid that more flooding was happening because it, it the storms just didn't stop Finally the storms have stopped now, but they're gonna come again tonight But at least I'm home and I don't gotta worry about them uh, It'll be interesting to see what works like tomorrow or getting to work 
because yeah, no joke, one road to get to work. All of the other ones were either closed or they hadn't decided they were closed yet and I found out myself by not being able to cross the road. It was fun. So again, let me know what you guys have been going through with weather. Um, again, my sister, I love you. I love you very, very much. You guys send some love to her in the comments if you can. And if you guys know her nickname, otherwise it's Yoshi or um, AKA uh, uh, Fighting Fox. <laughs> I almost said Fox Fighting. I'm like, wait, that's not right. Uh, fighting Fox. So love you if you are watching. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys, I think, at the live stream tomorrow. Again, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Otherwise, I will see you guys after I get back from Baltimore. And good luck in all the videos and watching them because now you'll have time to catch up. So, I hope to see you guys tomorrow night. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next Winning Wednesday or a playthrough or whatever it is you guys watch. So, keep winning, guys.